everybody yes it's me again laurel and guess what i am not here alone i have someone with me here in the orange is it the orange studio now yeah we carry the orange studio there so i'm here anyway i'm here with someone very very exceptional someone i admire a lot you know i'm here with sako Yes, I can. I can feel it. I can see it in the comment section that people are clapping. Amazing. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you. Happy to have you right here. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. 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 Exodus chapter 40, verse 40. Exodus 40. The Lord shall fight for me. And I shall. What are we, what are we fighting for? Why do you do what you do? Well, I do what I do because first I say it's a gift. Okay. I never, I've said, I've granted several interviews. I never imagined in my life I was going to become a comedian. But I knew I had a lot of funny people around. I knew my mom is a storyteller. I have an oh. uncle that is, very, is a storyteller. So I had people around me that were storytellers. And for me, I think God just gave me that side of comedy as a gift. Mm. I, I started accounting and data wow. processing. I was a musician, or I am a musician. Yeah, well, I, used to sing, I used to sing in the choir. Wow. So I thought I would be doing music until the gift where comedy um, came effortlessly um, came in. And then I, I saw that it began to open doors for me. And I had to put my focus on that. So for me, that's, that's basically, and every time I do it, I could do it for free. I did for several years free until I began to see results and began to see the Malachi. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> so yeah. there were lots of free stuff before. I did a lot of free stuff. I did a lot of pro bono. Uh, because I needed, I needed to be seen. Mm. Um, so, and sometimes people do not, people do not pay you if they don't know what you can yeah, offer. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. So, the place of where I had to do service. And one of the things I learned in the course of doing the job is it takes you 10,000 hours to become a professional in anything you're doing. Mm. And so I knew that I needed to be a professional and into all the free things I was doing. I wasn't wasting time. I was building you're my mind. You actually counting the hours. Yes, I was counting the hours. <laughs> Now you said that you were into other things initially before yes, you yes. saw that you did comedy effortlessly. Yes, yes. So, like, comedy was your talent. Comedy was my talent, or comedy is, is my talent. Your talent is my talent, indeed. Yes, yes of yes, course. Yes. So, I'd like to know if someone can actually learn to be a comedian, does it have to be a talent? Must it be inborn? It has to be, you have to have a sense of humor because it comes from a sense of humor where you start with a small crowd uh, yeah. and then you see the way they respond and then they point you out to say, okay, if you say this joke better. Um, I, I've had people ask me that question before. If you're not a comedian, you still have a strength. Mm. Comedy is, it's, it's, um, it's, 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 it breathes, it, it diffuses the event, it makes it very lively. But I've seen people that are not comedians that are very, Fantastic mass of ceremonies. Mm. Um, they could, they could be comedy yeah. is divided into a lot of places. Yeah, you, yeah. you have stand up comedy, you have sitcom, you have skits, different types. True. Okay, yeah. So, so comedy, you need to know the one that works for you. But I say that can it be learned? Yes, it can be learned. It could be a part of collaboration where this person you amplify what somebody else is doing, and gradually, you know, if you hang around, you know, they say if you hang around somebody, you know, you can it can become. It can become something you can work out. Work so out. I can be a comedian now. If you if 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 if, if you get your if you get your audience right, because yeah. comedy also has to do with audience. Um, that's one of the things I learned in the course of learning um, a, a six month presentation that I did. There are audience analysis. You need to know the jokes mm. that works for different crowd. There are some jokes you crowd to some corporate gigs, and it does bounce. You know when it's a bounce check, it <laughs> comes back to you void, and you feel it. <laughs> you feel even your your shadow will leave you and say, "I leave you to God." You'll you be are, alone on the you stage. You are no stranded time. now. I've been there before, so I know what it wow, is. Wow, amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. Okay, so now, um, I followed you for a while. Really? And I see that you are very good at what you do. Thank you. And even from just talking with you now, it's so funny. Like, I'm, I'm so happy already. Thank you. So, <clears throat> has there ever been a time that your audience didn't laugh, especially during stand-up comedy? Was there a time you cracked a joke and they were looking at you? Yeah. There were a lot of time, a lot of time, but you know, um, I I shake myself off it. Even though sometimes one one of the things that our mind makes us to do, it makes us focus on the things that are not working. Mm. 
-hmm. when even though you know that you've done this event back to back, you just left an event yesterday and it was fantastic. And then the next day, you're mm -hmm. trying to get people's attention, especially when it's comedy. And that's why I, I evolved to not just being a comedian, to be a master of ceremony, mm -hmm. and to be very, I call myself the compare with the sense of humor, and to be very sensitive to the crowd. Sometimes comedy might not work in the crowd, but I've seen it happen. I, I, I remember going to a corporate gig at, at a cool hotel in Lagos, you know, where, where I, I didn't, I just cracked, it. I was cracking jokes that I would have cracked for students mm. and were looking at me. <laughs> and guess what? I had a balance to collect. Be and, <laughs> I, and you know, I, I don't joke with my balance because I live a balanced life. So Hallelujah. because of my balance, you know, I wasn't balanced that day because of, you know, the jokes were not balanced at all. I've seen it happen once, twice. Um, so now, apart from the fact that I am, I know that this gift was given to me by God, so, and I know that it's part of my purpose. So yeah. most times, I'll say to you, for people listening, most times before I do anything, I have a background check on the people that I'm working with, and I also have a place where I have to pray. Because trust mm. me, um, Esther chapter 2, verse 15, I, if you permit me to say, where Esther found favor, she was helped. And, yeah. and so if, if things like this could happen in the Bible where she didn't qualify for the help, uh, and every time we talk about, we confess it that we find help, we find help, yeah. you know, and, and you go somewhere and then you just do something and you say, I love that guy. It's not magic. It's, it's yeah. the fact that you've done the, the spiritual part and you've done also the physical part. And you, you, you cannot be lazy and say you're not doing the physical part and expect the spiritual to work. Yeah. It says you bless the work of your hands. So what exactly are you doing with your hands? What are, what is that? are you reading book? Are you, and you must not, comedy is not just about um, do comedy. It's, you need to be, you need to know what is happening around you. So you need to watch the news. You need to do comparisons. Most times, comedy is more of comparison, mm. especially when I travel out of the country. I do a lot of comparisons. I see the things that happen in Nigeria. I see things that happen in America. Yeah. And I compare things. And you must always observe. It's more of observations. Sometimes there are some jokes that will work now that you might need to pipe down and not let it, let it, let it yeah. out yet. And then somebody says it's spontaneous. Nobody is spontaneous. It's the information that he has put into him that made him spontaneous. Mm. And at the time when he got the joke, it didn't mean anything at that time. Yeah. But it's not somewhere. So you, somebody says a thing, bam. And then you say, ah, that guy is just spontaneous. It's not. <laughs> it's spontaneous. It's smart because yeah. he's been studying and he's been observing. Okay? That's, that's, basically, that's basically what, what it is. It, it's a comedy. It's a lot of work. And, and you need to celebrate. Even every profession is a lot of work. If you can get to that level where the first five, first ten oh. in, the, in the country that you belong. I think I should start rethinking. Comedy is no, it's no, beginning no. to seem like medical science. No, it, it, it's not. It's not. It's just you what you put your attention yeah. on. It. You know, when you focus, what you focus becomes your focus. So when you begin to focus and say, this is all, when I started comedy, everything around me was comedy. Everything that I wanted to do was comedy. But like I said, as I evolved, I realized that beyond the comedy, yeah. you need to begin to evolve, begin to do all the things. This is awesome. I know somebody there already has hope. All the comedians that have been thinking that it's rocket science, he has broken it down so well for us. And then, I think I'll consider it now. <laughs> you can consider it right I'll now. Try there's, it. there's room. The truth is there's always room for anybody coming to an industry. Yeah. Um, like I shared, shared somewhere at, at a meeting yesterday, there is no industry you want to get into now that you feel that you're already late. It's not late. Even if we have giants in the industry, there's always an opportunity yeah. for you. The reason why you have giant there is they were keeping that place for you. There's a space for mm. you, especially when you come with a uniqueness. Yeah. I've, I've seen people that go into an industry a few years ago and they're already at the forefront. They, they got into the, the industry unique, uniquely. There's always a space for you. So think about it in case you're coming come into the, any, any industry. Do a research about the industry. Think about, write down the top 10 people, what made them exceptional, mm. what did they do that you can do a study on them. And there's nothing new, actually. You could just do a little tweak, boom, boom. Actually, there's nothing new. That's not and I said, as a comedian, if he says, if you speak vernacular in Lagos State, you pay, fine. Like something you have to pay 500 naira, 50 naira for speaking vernacular. A lot of things will change. Some people will not even talk again in Lagos. Especially all those people that can argue newspaper early in the morning, say, ah, Ronaldo, he did play. You guys are going Ronaldo play. You see what he will play yesterday. But because of English, and there is a Kai official to check everyone that speaks vernacular. So because of English, they say, ah, Ronaldo. <laughs> the guy said, what? He said, ah, Kai. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, just briefly now. Before, in, in place of mentoring and proteges, you know, what do you have to say to people that just copy their mentors? How do they find their originality? 
Okay, first, if you, anytime you copy somebody, you are the second best. You're not the first best because mm. you are copying, you know, when you have photocopy. I say, where's the original? You have the original. <laughs> yeah. So when you begin to sound like somebody, they say, it sounds like this person. Mm. You will not always see somebody who says, it sounds like yourself. So when I started, I used to sound like different comedians until I said to myself one day, how do I want people to, to, to address me? How do I want people to know me when they see me? You know, how do I want people to see me when they, you know? And then that was how I got the name Sako. I wrote, I wrote down my name Sako one day. As a teenager, I wrote down all my names. My first name is Sunday, Ayodele, Chuka, Mado, mm. Kundalai. And that was how I wrote down my name one day, and I said, this is how I want people to know me. And then I began to do my jokes in English. I could do the code switch. I could do English yeah. and Yoruba. I speak Igbo sometimes, or most times, so I could mix Igbo depending on the audience. But I realized the part where I live in Nigeria, in Lagos, I usually could switch. Mm. So um, it's very, very important that um, you, can, you don't need to copy anybody. You could, you could copy their principles because principles are universal. Oh, yeah. Their principles are universal. There's a place where you sow a seed and you reap. It's universal. You could pro uh, copy their process. Mm. You could copy their process in the sense that what did they do, how did they do, but you cannot copy that part where you need to be original, where you need to be original for yourself. Yeah, yeah, it's good yeah. that when they say, you know that there's a denomination in, in Nigeria where if you see their pastor, you can see yes. From, yes, from them, yes. you know what church that they attend, yeah. okay? So it's, it's, it's kind of, uh, it sounds like, but you know, nothing like, nobody, God created you uniquely. Your, 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 your fingerprints, very mm. unique. You are the only one that had that finger, even twin. You can't use the same fingerprint. So it's, I would advise that you, in the place of discovering yourself, be genuine and be unique. Amazing. Amazing. So now before we go, I know people want to hear him make us laugh a little bit. But it, there's going to be a twist on the matter. You know how Orange Lawyer always does her stuff. I want you to tell me a dry joke. Make sure I don't laugh. Hmm. A dry <laughs> joke. <laughs> if I laugh, it's off, guys. It's mm. off. I try to remember because really, you know, sometimes you don't even want to remember those times where you cracked a joke and you didn't laugh. <laughs> but you know, I think my wife is the only one that can know when you crack a joke and I was like, what is the punchline? <laughs> and I said, but that's the punchline. I said, ah, no, that's not punch in love. You need to get another newspaper that is not punch. Because <laughs> <laughs> it punches you out of destiny. <laughs> what joke can I crack? Oh, no. That will not make that me laugh. That will not make you laugh. Hey. Ah. I can't remember right now. I won't lie to you. Maybe after this interview, if I you remember. You will crack a Ah, that dry joke. I don't know. And ah, what joke can I crack? No, no, I can't. You, you can't even. You can't crack a dry joke. The joke will crack you because <laughs> you will just see that your body is stained. You know, for comedians, we call it kuboko, where you where you crack a joke and boom, there's a there's a shadow on you. You just say, I give myself away. That's it. You know, so so silly. I can't. I'll be frank with you. I can't remember any joke right now. That's not funny. That's not funny. I know the ones that are funny. But you don't know the ones that are not funny. Um, the one that's not funny is when I was paying my wife's bride price. It was not. It was not funny. It was expensive. So <laughs> that is not. I was, like, <laughs> I was not a funny because it wasn't. It wasn't funny. You don't know. <laughs> when I was paying it, it wasn't funny at all. So that's why when I gave birth, I was praying that my first daughter should be a girl because. Yeah, recovery. he's going to do back. Yeah, she's seven years old now, 14 oh more God. years so old So we are getting go. ready. Father, we thank you. <laughs> I'm keeping all the details, all the school fees. It's transfer I'm doing so that they can print out my casting for oh 10 years. God, oh. oh, God. <laughs> and I'm married from my Arubo. I'm, I'm, I'm an Arubo lady. And you know, they're the one that say me go and say Vrendo. <laughs> when I me go the boy that we come He's going her, to be humble. He will Vrendo. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just tell my daughter, before you bring... These are the things I spent on. <laughs> so how does he want to pay? He doesn't want to spread payment in 10 years. <laughs> because I trust oh my, my God. Goodness. God will sustain me to be alive. Listen to me. I had God speak to me 5th of May, 1989. He shall pay for it. The God of this commission will reward me. God sees the works of my hand. <laughs> Look at me. Then we pay. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. He, he made me laugh. Happy so he... Thank you. So you're going to pay me for making you laugh. Imagine. I mean, all my people will gather. No, Allah. No, Allah. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. you. Thank you. I had an amazing time. Thank you Thank so, you so much. much. And God bless you. Amen. Thanks. Yeah. So that is it. I had so much fun. Okay. So this is Orange Laurel and I'm here all the time. Let me see your comments and also don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye.